Performing a PT test. This video provides a brief overview of how to perform a PT INR test. Make sure that you have all the supplies needed before you start, including a 21 gauge lancet, sample transfer tubes, sterile alcohol prep pads, gauze square, and a biohazard or sharps waste container. To begin, press and hold the power button on the right side of the meter to power the meter on. Place the meter on a stationary, level surface for testing. When the system finishes starting up, the login screen will be displayed. Log in as admin or using your assigned credentials. This login setting can be changed to auto login based on user preference. Press the test button on the color touchscreen. Confirm that the patient strip lot number and barcode number display match the information on the test strip pouch. If the number does not match or the field in the meter is blank, then touch NFC tag to the NFC scanner on the meter. If the NFC tag is not available, then manually enter the lot and barcode numbers from the patient test strip pouch. Then press the forward button. If the patient ID feature is enabled, Enter the patient ID or scan the patient ID barcode using an optional barcode scanner. Press the forward arrow button. The screen will now display the message to please insert a strip. Hold the round end of the test strip with the wheel facing upward. Gently insert a strip completely into the meter. The strip fits snugly and should be pushed all the way toward the back wall of the strip holder. The display will show the countdown for the countdown of the time remaining during the warm-up cycle. Clean the patient fingertip with an alcohol wipe. Dry the fingertip with gauze to remove any excess. After apply sample is displayed, you now have two and a half minutes to apply the sample to the strip. The best test sample is when the blood is collected right after the finger stick and put into the sample well without delay. If the blood is not collected or tested quickly, repeat with a fresh finger stick and a new strip. Use only 21 gauge lancets, as smaller diabetes lancets do not produce sufficient whole blood volume. Just a 10 to 12 microliters drop of blood sample is required. Please remember, squeezing or milking the finger stick side excessively releases interstitial tissue layer fluid containing tissue factors that can cause unreliable results. Collect the sample using a sample transfer tube. Holding the transfer tube horizontal, touch the tip of the bead of blood and let capillary action fill until the blood flow stops at the green band. Insert the transfer tube tip into the sample application well of the test strip and touch the tip down at the flashing green light in front of the spinning wheel. Push the plunger down to dispense the sample fully. The light should go out and meter should display, testing, please wait. The testing time is the patient's actual clotting time as the system produces a true prothrombin time. Never add more blood to the test strip. Never collect a second sample from the same finger stick. When testing is complete, the results appear on the screen. The test result is recorded in memory, and it can be found on the main menu using results and then patient test. Turn off the meter by pressing and holding the power button down until the screen goes dark.